morning, Lagos. Welcome to Ibile.tv. My name is Nimat Alesh Lawyer. This is the show that sets you up for the morning. My my colleague here with me, Adevile Ijelu. Good morning, Nimat. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How was your night? It was good. It was amazing. Same Hope there was no stress yesterday. You know, it was raining and yesterday was rainy day, so a lot stress. of things happened. There was stress for me yesterday and this morning. I had to... Wow. We want to get the bus, the, the, oh. the red lag bus, and it's, I almost fell down this oh, morning. Oh, sorry about that. Thank God that. for the ticket that you picked me up. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And it showed that a lot of Lagos still care about their fellow Lagos. They, should, they still care about, but Lagos must we try to struggle for the bus before coming to work. Well, that is why Lagos is known for its also and bustle. Despite leaving them as early as possible. <laughs> it's all good. It's thank all good. God, thank God for the, uh, for the ticket that, if not, maybe I would have gone back home to just change my clothes. Because I'm going well, through. Thank God you are here. You're not happy. Thank God, thank God for ticket. It's nice. But it's very hard for me to find it a, a nice ticket in Lagos. Yes, because they're always on the rush. They always, it, I, I was about to get down on the floor. It just picked me up. So but it's just like a savior. But I mean, it's my savior. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same thing. We'll be going on a quick break. When we come back, we'll be having our headlines for today. Agboy K2 is an area in K2 a noteworthy city in Lagos State, Nigeria. It is situated in Kushofe local government and localized near the popular Mile 12 market. The state government commissioned eight link roads. The following roads are Omotayo Banwo Street, Kolai Yaomolewe Street, Omotayo Close, Adit Sunji Adibita Street, Ogun Street, Good Luck Street and Prince Oyewumi Street. Some years ago, this area was so terrible. In fact, when you are passing this area, you can, from this very short side, you can spend like 15, 20 minutes because the area was so bad. The bike, everything was jam -pad. The area was no friendly. But now, we thank God for the government of the day. They've done some work and the area is nice. Welcome back to Headlines Today. And we'll be starting off with the Vanguard newspaper. For the banner headline, we have pressure piles on arm body to drop second term lead. For the kicker, rider rather, ex Lagos PDP chair Salvador seeks others to screen APC aspirant. PDP chair screen APC, APC aspirant. aspirant. Okay. He's the chairman, so you need to do maybe he was assigned to do that. <laughs> okay. Ashafa in storm over alleged romance with Abuja Group. You know where these papers say alleged romance? <laughs> alleged romance. <laughs> You know, there, in APC, there is what they call Abuja Group and Lagos Group. Oh, those okay. are Abuja Group are those people that have maybe appoint, appointment in Abuja. Okay. Why not of Lagos? Or maybe Lagos is out of assembly members or officials in Lagos. So Abuja Group and Lagos Group. <laughs> you need to romance with them to get another. Bit. Uh, at the top, we have affair for Vanguard. Need for, need for single six year term for president, governor. Area affair Babalola. And that can be found on page 40. 2019, NAS agrees with Buari harmonizes electoral amendment bill. CBN BPE signed sale of 12.6 billion FG shares in Mint. Lul in shipping its maritime industry. Also, the many battles of a telecom operator. APC plotting to attack NAS next week. CUPB wow. alleges. We have no such plan, APC. U.S.-based Nigerian group offers to pay Lia Sharibu's ransom. A U.S.-based Nigerian group, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, everywhere you go, you are going to definitely find a Nigerian. Yes, so for finding yes. a Nigerian, you need to have a group to make sure that, okay, you guys are under the same one umbrella, that you are from a particular country in Nigeria. It's better for the country. Okay, that's good. Then we have PDP presidential tickets. Atiku, Saraki, Tambua, other face party stairs. Wow. That can be found on page five. Restructuring comment. Yakazi, disturbed by old age, says Ayo Adebanjo. The Naira down to 363 Naira per dollar in I and E window. That's all I have for the Vanguard newspaper. On the Daily Sun newspaper this morning, the headline says, As NAS addresses Buari's observation, card reader legalized in latest electoral bill. On the rider, amendment to straighten IMEC, says Senate Committee Chair. On the footer, we have Oshun Guba, Buari Tinubu, APC governors who voters for Oyetola. Court decide Adelike's fate today. This can be found on page 44 of the Sun newspaper. 
Kalu meets IBB in Mina, makes case for Buhari's re-election, can also be found on page 8 of the Sun newspaper this morning. PDP presidential ticket, rivers will collectively decide aspirants to support for the presidential ticket. This can be found on page 39 of the Sun newspaper. On page 8, 2019 polls, APC mulls new dates for primaries. The ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, have rescheduled its primaries for 2019 general election to start on Wednesday, September 26th. Rescheduled. I think they have to put the announcement in order so everything is going to go yeah. fine and as proper. That's all I have. Okay. And for the nation, we have Buari to Oshun, both APC to shut out corrupt leaders. That's for the banner headline. For the rider, governors, Tinumbu, Akonde, Oshoba, others campaign for Oyetola. And at the very big picture here, yeah, we can see them holding their broom and the <laughs> election is this only weekend. their attire. <laughs> also, state debt profile now, 4.449 trillion naira, says Budge IT. Sonwolu Amzat challenge good. That can be found on page 7. Fayoshe, I am ready for interrogation September 20th. <laughs> Fayoshe is ready. Yes, he is. He, I can't please mind. everyone, says Anthony Joshua. We have in the inside story, Lasso predicts APC's victory. Lasso, sorry, predicts APC's victory. Party accuses INEC of excluding its candidate. People living with disabilities back. ADC candidate. APC's Chance Bright says Ahmed and more. You can find them on page 267 of the newspaper. And we have Bill and Melinda Gates, Nigeria to host more poor people by 2050. I can be found on page 2 of the newspaper. Nigeria, we, have, we have plans. <laughs> <laughs> OPEC partners to ensure oil market stability, says Bakindo. And that's all we have for the newspaper, for the airlines today. You can pick up any of those newspapers to get detailed information about them. We'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll be having our What's Up Lakers. Oibo, popularly. Welcome back. We'll be starting our What's Up Lagos with the story of the LAISA supporting farmers with fertilizers and seedlings. The Lagos State Agriculture Input Supply Authority Board has approved the sum of 310 million naira for the procurement of fertilizer, agrochemical seedling and organic products for sale at substandard rates to farmers in the state. Well, it's a welcome development. I yes, think our day is trying to make sure that no matter what you are doing in Lagos State, we are going to help you. And for giving farmers at a subsidized rate, it's going yes. to help agricultural production in the state. 310 million. And it's going, I'm sure the money is going to be circulated very well within the place in order to get all these subsidized products for them. It's a welcome development for farmers in Lagos State. <laughs> okay, we have this, the case of the chief judge of Lagos State. But I said the case of the chief judge of Lagos State. <laughs> yeah, the, the chief judge of Lagos State, Honorable Justice <laughs> Okayemi Oke, has disclosed that the state judiciary for the first time in history, <coughs> recently engaged 75 legal practitioners in the state's public service at as court register. Wow. Yes. I'm sure the, the legal practitioners are going to be happy with this. Yeah, definitely. As court <laughs> registers along. Justice Oke okay, speaking doing a workshop for a newly uh, anointed court register at Peace or Lagos, Igbosure, said the present administration is working tirelessly to improve the judicial system in the state by infusing into the system professionalism, relevant skills, Qualification, competent <coughs> individuals into the court system. I think if you take a look at our body, our body is doing everything within all the sector. For now, we get something about agriculture. Now we are going to the judicial system. Before now, it was other sector. He's doing everything holistically to make sure that Lagos move forward. Yes. Like he said, it tests you. I do a colo jo something <laughs> like that. That's the slogan for Lagos. And she has actually advised them to do to carry out their duties with the fear of God in, in, them. in order to make sure that positive impact on the judicial um, system is in the state. All right, that'll be all we'll be having for our WhatsApp Lagos. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, there we will be having Decision 2019.
Welcome to Decision 2019. I'm Adirile Ijelu. The Lagos State House of Assembly has postponed its resumption by two weeks. It was earlier scheduled for September 17 to October 8. The Assembly had on July 10 adjourned to September 17 to enable members to go on their annual recess. During the period, the House hosted the Conference of Southwest Speakers and Conference of Speakers of Nigeria between August 3rd to August 15 in Lagos. At the conference, they elected a new executive at its 28th second quarter conference, and the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly emerged as its new chairman. The clerk of the House, Aziz Sani, said that the House would have resume on October 8th. The general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Adeboye, on Sunday denied having a telephone conversation with the national leader of All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, about the second term bid of the Lagos State Governor, Akiwumi Ambode. In a disclaimer shared on his verified Twitter handle and Facebook page, it was stated that, that Pastor Adeboye has not and will not be involved in inter intra party politics in Nigeria and anywhere RCCG is present across the world. But Adeboye urged Nigerians to get their permanent voters card and exercise their civic rights. The state is set for an epic battle for the Lagos East senatorial seat with Senator Benga Ashafa, pitched in battle with a four-time member of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Adebayo Oshinowo, properly called Peperento. Oshinowo said, with my 16 years of experience in the State Assembly, I have acquired enough legislative experience to prepare me for a greater achievement in the Red Chamber. I have been actively involved in the political activities of the East Senatorial District for over two decades. I know where the shoe pinches. My legislative commitment in the upper chamber will not put to stop to the existing program in the district. Rather, it will continue to expand. That's all on decision 2019 today. Lucky will take you on sports updates after the break. Welcome to. Thank you, Adirili. This is Good Morning Lagos, and I am Lucky Audion. Welcome. Uh, we'll be kicking off with the story of the coach of the Rwandan club, Ryan Sport, Roberto Oliveira. He says that his team is determined to beat Nigerian club aimed by in the second leg of the quarterfinals of the CAF Confederations Cup. And he said that he's going to really beat the Aimba um, squad silly. He's not looking at mincing words right now. The club is ready and the club is set to deal with our Nigerian um, representative in this very initiative, in this very um, competition. He said that the two sides had earlier played for on a um, goalless draw in the first leg in Kigali. Um, moving on, the UEFA Champions League kicked off last night and it was a goal fl um, flurry all through um, um, places that the matches were played. There were goals flying from everywhere. And um, we we'll look at the, the scores for some of these um, matches. Barcelona trashed um, PSV 4 0, while Inter Milan defeated Tottenham 2 1. Liverpool scored, secured a 3 2 victory over PSV, while Atletico Madrid won Monaco 2 1. It was a very lovely game, that game. Everybody expected that um, Monaco would do what they did on the day, and it actually came out top in that very match. And finally, the chief executive officer of the um, Arsenal Football Club, Ivan Gazidis, has agreed to leave the Premier League side to join, to join its inter, um, Italian club, AC Milan. The 53-year-old will depart the Gunners by the end of October and take up his new role in Italy on December 1st. We wish him all the best because we know that he is good, we know he is perfect for the job, and surely he's going to do them proud. Gazidi will be replaced by, a head of football by the head of football relations, Raul Sanil and Chief Commercial Officer Vinal Van Tekeshin, who became Head of Football and Managing Director, respectively. That is all we have for sports today. I'll be taking a look at the weather. We'll be right back. Welcome back. That was the weather report for today. 29 degrees high, 24 degrees low, and a normal rate of 24 degrees. Well, at least sun, but a little bit cloudy. So mm -hmm. let's hope 
Like you can't predict. It's this. You can't predict the weather. We can't As predict I predict the weather. As I yesterday, it was sunny. Later on, it, yes, it, it started it raining. raining. So Chimamanda, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie should be having a conversation with the people. The popular writer. Having a conversation with the people. We should be talking about our two books. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, we we should all be feminists and dear Ijeawili. Ijeawili. So. Or a feminist manifesto in fifteen yes. suggestions. She's going to be hosted by a narrative publisher. That is one of the publishers of her book. It's a nice, it's a nice idea because everyone is going to get a chance to interact with her at the, yes, co yes. At, the at the center they are going to be hosting this event, which is going to held September 22, this Saturday. It's yes, going to be a Island, yeah. Like me, I'm going to be there. I'm sure. I don't yeah. know about you. You know, you, you, you know, you love books now. And Apart from <laughs> especially this one, that we all should be feminists. No, we should all be feminists. Right? No, this feminist issue has become coming up day by day. I need to. You get an understanding exactly of about the feminist you know, point of view. A point of view. And she has written two books concerning that. So I need to go there, even see her for the first time. <laughs> I'm going to get the book also. So just to get the concept of the feminist aspect and educate myself more. That's, good, that's really amazing. So my weekend is going to be nice. Okay, this is where we draw the curtain for today's program. Ensure you follow us on our social media handles at ibled.tv. That is I B I L E G O T T V. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Drop your comments on any of the platforms. And do ensure you have a blessed day. Bye. Bye for now.